I have something to confess. Um, I hate doing my dog's nails. I really, it's just something I don't like. And because I don't like it, I haven't spent the time that I should be spending to condition my dogs to enjoy getting their nails done. So I'm going to make something today that is going to be a big help for me. And it's something that I've been putting off doing for just laziness, I guess. Um, but that is a scratch board. So a scratch board is a super useful thing for dogs that don't really like getting their nails done, um, need a lot of nail maintenance. So especially for Finley, mostly his nails are horrible. Um, his quicks are super long. Um, and no matter what I do, I cannot seem to get them down to a length that I like. There's like a huge trend with dogs right now with nub nails, as people are calling them, where they grind their dog's nails down like super duper small. Um, dogs need nails, especially if your dogs are active and doing stuff. So they need nails, um, especially for like Chester doing agility and you know, uh, coming up into spring and summer, they're gonna be doing some more lure coursing stuff and they need nails, they need them. So instead of constantly fighting with my dogs to get their nails done, not even really fighting with them, but just having to like use some amount of restraint to get their nails done. Um, and because I know I don't have the time <laughs> or the patience or the wherewithal to constantly condition them, I'm going to make a scratch board to help keep their nails down in between groom visits. And that way I can still take them to the groomer to get their nails ground down once in a while, but I will have another way to keep them shorter. Okay, so I had, oh, by the way, if you hear that, it's Chester, who is rolling himself around on the floor. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so I have this scratch piece, of, scratch, I have this scrap piece of wood um, that's left over actually from our cabinets. These are the old kitchen cabinets that were upstairs. Um, Hi, <laughs> it's not about you. Um, so anyway, these are the old kitchen cabinets that were upstairs um, in the old counter and I made this like desk out of it. But anyway, um, this piece of wood is left over from that. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take some pieces of sandpaper. Um, I probably am gonna regret using small strips. Um, if you're gonna do this, probably get like a big piece that would probably cover this. Um, I don't have that and I'm lazy. So I'm using these because this is what I have and some spray adhesive to stick them on. Um, and then I also have, come here, this. Um, these are little doorknob things for cabinets. Um, and I thought it would be handy to put these or at least one on the back of the scratch board so I have something to hold on to. vertical strips um, so that way there's like less chance of the dogs peeling the uh, sandpaper off um, so they'll be scratching that way um, it didn't cover all the way to the bottom but I'm okay with that this is just sort of a really quick down and dirty one um, I'm gonna let this thing hang out down here to dry so and then later on tonight I'm going to put one of these guys or both on the back. So I have something to hold on to. Okay, so now it's several days later. <laughs> I finally finished this thing. Um, so basically all I did to finish it was I took a uh, drill bit um, and drilled, pre-drilled a hole into the top of the board. Um, and then I took that little doorknob kit, screwed the screw in, attached the doorknob thing to the back of it. So now I have a way to hold the board uh, while my dogs use it. So 
that's the next step is to get them actually using the scratch board. So let's try and do that. 